Hi, I'm Megan Burns, and I'm back with another tip on talking to your organization about customer experience. This tip is in response to a question that somebody asked me a couple weeks ago, which was, is there any way to talk about customer experience governance without actually calling it that? He works in an organization, he's been there a couple months, and it's very clear early on that this company pushes back hard and fast on anything that includes the term governance. They, like a lot of people, have experienced bad governance, so they associate the word with bureaucracy and micromanagement and unhelpful overhead, uh, which understandably, they're not super keen to add more of. So my suggestion to him was to talk about that aspect of customer experience management as a system of checks and balances. That term covers everything we need it to cover, right? One big piece of governance is how are we going to oversee, check that people are doing the things they're supposed to be doing, when, where, and how they're supposed to be doing them, and that it's producing the results that we need. So that piece of governance is covered there. And then the balances piece is where we introduce the idea of decision-making structures, uh, customer journey ownership. And the whole point of that is to create better balance moving forward in the decisions that you make between the needs of your customers, your employees, the business as a whole, and all the different stakeholder groups. So checks and balances is not only a, a less polarizing term, it's actually also more descriptive. Uh, and I've found it to be really successful in introducing to people the need for some discipline around customer experience without making them feel like we're trying to do something that is super heavy handed. So if you're in that kind of a culture or if you work with companies that have that kind of a culture, give that a shot. And if you wanna talk more about how to adapt that language to your specific situation, or if you have some other uh, element of talking to your company about customer experience that you'd like some help finessing. I'm going to be holding some office hours next week, Thursday, November 1st, from 11 to 12 Eastern time. I'll be on a webinar live, and anyone who registers for the webinar can ask questions of me and of the entire group like the one that my friend asked, you know, is there a good way to talk about X? I've been describing it like this. Is there something that people might understand a little bit better? I've had enormous positive feedback just on the couple of videos I've done on this topic of talking to your company about customer experience. So I want to extend the conversation and make it a two-way conversation so that we can collectively learn how to talk about this field and this discipline that we love so much uh, to get other people engaged and make them love it as much as we do. So Thursday, November 1st, 11 to 12 Eastern Time, I'm going to put a link to the registration page for the webinar in this post. So go to that and sign up. And then hopefully it will be the first of uh, many conversations about how we can be more clear and more compelling in the conversations that we're having around customer experience. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll talk to you next week. Bye.